Hallelujah, hallelujah. You have received a spirit of adoption as sons through which we cry, Abba, Father. Hallelujah, hallelujah. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Jesus was praying in a certain place, and when he had finished, one of his disciples said to him, Lord, teach us to pray just as John taught his disciples. He said to them, When you pray, say, Father, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, give us each day our daily bread, and forgive us our sins, for we ourselves forgive everyone in debt to us, and do not subject us to the final test. This is the Gospel of the Lord. morning today we celebrate the memorial of, uh, of our lady of the rosary so when was the last time you prayed the rosary kailan ba yung last time na nagpray kayo ha siguro yung iba dito tagal-tagal nang hindi nakahawak ng rosary the same thing siguro no? for many of us you know today we are being reminded you know the rosary is very important because this is one of our traditions practices in fact, I heard a lot of stories, people, even religious, who was who were saved by just praying the rosary. You know, there are times, if you remember those times that you felt so alone, so um, you have a difficulty in your in your life. You know, you think of you know what what shall what should you do? Well, ano yung gagawin niyo? And um, somehow na isip niyo, why not? Pray the rosary. I heard a lot of stories about being healed, being relieved from pain, and even from their problems. If you uh, happen to visit Saint Pio Chapel of Saint Pio in so in uh, Quezon City, no Quezon City. Uh, when you enter that, uh, the, the, there's a, a church there. Approaching the you know, the chapel, alam mo Doon sa front niya, you will see hundreds if not thousands of rosaries. At kasama doon sa mga rosaries na kalagay doon, uh, iba mga wheelchairs, mga saklay. And uh, dami-dami. Why? Because these are those are actually testimonies how the Blessed Mother through the rosary has helped them. Marami doon miracles na nangyayari. And that is why it's a good thing to remind ourselves, you know, Pray the rosary. Merong tayong kasabihan, the family that prays together stays together. Ang pamilya na naglaging nagdadasal, lalong-lalo na ng rosaryo, they stay together. And this is our the invitation for all of us. You know, but you know, the rosary is simply not not the end. It's a means for us. Bakit? Why we pray the rosary? It's not so much about finishing praying the rosary, you know? It's not like that. But when we pray the rosary, it's about centering our lives to God, to Jesus Christ, to the Father, to the Spirit, and to the Blessed Virgin Mary. Because a lot of times, we center what we do in our work. We center our mind to our work, to our relationship, to our plans, you know, and you know, other things. But praying the rosary helps us to center our lives to God, to Mary, to Jesus Christ. And this is why we pray. When the disciples ask Jesus, teach us to pray, Jesus taught them one thing. By praying, we center our lives to God and that is what is more important. Today, the Blessed Mother has really blessed us through this Our Lady of the Holy Rosary. May she continue to journey with us, especially during the times of our difficulties and challenges in our lives. Let's pray the Rosary today. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit.